just below ground on this northern Colorado prairie sits the home of a killer. They just live in prairie dog burrows and they eat prairie dogs. 90% of their diet is comprised of prairie dogs. Justin Chuvin isn't scared. This is black footed ferret habitat right out here. He's here to protect them. They are very cute, but they are vicious little carnivores. Beneath their killer facades, Justin knows this population needs a lot of protection. I mean, it's one of the most endangered animals in the world. Researchers thought the black-footed ferret had gone extinct. So when 18 of them were found in the 80s, scientists rounded them up and started a captive breeding and reintroduction program that's thriving. Keep the genetic diversity as high as we possibly can and then reintroduce them into the wild, into their native habitat, and it is making a difference. This is Thompson. This is his first physical exam, and he came in, actually he was born in Phoenix. Della Gurel is one of the reasons there are now several hundred black-footed ferrets living in the wild. She's a veterinarian at the National Black-Footed Ferret Conservation Center in northern Colorado. So this is for biting the neck of the prairie dog. Della makes sure their captive killer population, including Thompson, is healthy. Well, very healthy. Good job, Thompson. Many of the black-footed ferrets will breed. Justin says some, if they're healthy, will be released into the wild. Beyond breeding and reintroduction, the black-footed ferret is making history. The black-footed ferret was the first uh, North American endangered species to be cloned in 2020. That was Elizabeth Ann. And um, that was a huge scientific breakthrough. Elizabeth Ann lives at the Conservation Center along with her fellow clone, Noreen. A third clone made history of her own last year, breeding over at a Virginia facility with a non-cloned male and giving birth to kits. First cloned endangered species to successfully reproduce, which is a huge scientific breakthrough. And really injects a whole bunch of new genetic material into the population. It's history they hope Noreen can recreate in Colorado later this year. But Justin says this breakthrough in science is only part of the puzzle in saving this species. The black-footed ferret needs a place to live, food to eat, and a way to manage diseases like the plague, wiping out the populations now. We have made a lot of progress in conserving the black-footed ferret, but there is still a long way to go. There's hope. Each year, they're able to vaccinate, restore habitat, and release black-footed ferrets into the wild, slowly building the population back up. I personally have a lot of hope that the black-footed ferret will be a recoverable species and someday we will see it delisted, um, no longer on the endangered species list. For Justin, this job is a labor of love. Yeah, it's absolutely a species worth saving. He knows even the most vicious of killers needs a little help. In Larimer County, Rachel Krause, 9 News.